Thanks for watching my video today. Let's discuss our reduction formula. Okay. Then is integral of sine and x over sine x or other case sine and x cos x dx. Okay. Now since we are going to evaluate this, but if you use substitution or partial fraction or integration by part I think it will not work that again so in order to integrate this now let us consider this let us have a consider first and I'm going to explain okay, after I simplify this let us consider our integral sin x with integral of sin and minus 2x over sin x dx let's consider this two okay now first of all without the integral sign let's simplify this two and let's subtract okay Now simplify this. Sin x, right? Sin and x minus sin and minus 2x. So applying sin a minus b, okay? Sin a minus sin b. So what do we get? You get 2 cos and minus 1x sin x okay meaning this sine and sine can get cancer now so 2 cos and minus 1 x now if we consider this to integral now after simplify this you get this one right so this is easy to evaluate right so that's why we consider this to now integrating both sides okay if i integrate what do we get sin and x over sin x dx minus integral of sin and minus 2x over sin x dx which is equal to 2 times integral of cos and minus 1x dx so this is easy to evaluate now right so we can just say sin nx over sin x dx equal to one is integration of cos integration of cos is just sin right sin and minus 1 x over and minus 1 okay plus this one we transfer there okay sin and minus 2 x over sin x dx so this is our required reduction formula for this particular integral okay and that's it